my channel. So if you watch my channel or maybe you're just clicking on this video just because you're curious, I like to do product reviews, especially product reviews that are like as seen on TV or that maybe you've passed Target or Walmart and you're like, oh, I wonder if that really works. Well, I find out if it works or not for you. So today I went to the local Goodwill called Barnes and I found this package. I opened it up. It was brand new and it was from a zone and it cost $30, but I got it for about $350 and it is the 4-in-1 slicer and grater. So you have cucumbers, onions, so it was five dollars but they gave it for 350 so what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to make your life easier so you pull that apart you insert it and bam you slice it is care instructions dishwasher safe top rack hand wash inserts to maintain sharpness and it's compact storage so we're gonna find that out so it has a food holder base, non-skid rubber base, and it gives you the different measurements. So you have 132 inch or one millimeter. You also have fine or coarse, and they have the three millimeters. Of course, you have your caution, sharp blades, always use fold holder to slice food, keep out of reach of children. Normally it's thirty dollars. Let's see if it's worth thirty dollars. Let's see you buy it brand new. So I took it out and I washed it and I just have it in this plastic baggie. So you have the base, the rubber handle. And at first I thought it was missing pieces and I'm like, oh, okay, that's why they gave it away. But no, it's actually all stacked. So I thought, oh no, it's just coming with these two pieces. But no, you have your fine and your coarse. And then you have your, I'm gonna get the exact measurements your one millimeter and then your three millimeter so it's supposed to be stackable and whatnot so I said alright I'm probably gonna make onion soup later and I want to test this for you guys so I do have my onion my knife so it's gonna be a product review and does it really work So it has a nice handle here, it does have the rubber grips, and you can extend it and pull to wash. And if you pull slightly like that, you have this whole thing. And to insert it, you grab it and you line it up. adjust it and that snaps into place and then you put this on the top and then you would just grate it like that So, to take it out, you just lift it, and you put it to the side. So the onion, we're going to try the two little ones. So we snap it in, and then we adjust it. So it is a complete lock like that over here and 
And now to really test it, we're going to take an onion. Hey guys, okay, so I'm coming in from editing and I just realized I'm going to do a time lapse so you guys can see the failure of this item. It actually did work towards the end, but a time lapse is just what you need because for a while it did not work. That's a protective case, by the way, that you need to take off as well. But like you could see me, I'm trying. It did cut some of it, but like it's not worth $30. So let's keep watching. So we're gonna try it with a potato. So once again, I could have just cut this whole part out, but I want you guys to get the feel and to see the struggle because like I said, this item brand new is $30. And you know, it didn't come with any instructions or anything. So I'm going off what I think would be a normal thing to do. So it's just kind of hard because you know, it's supposed to grate and make your life easier, but with the onion didn't work, with the potato it didn't work. And yes, I did get a slice of potato. Hi from editing, so I do want to say that I realized it was a thin piece of potato, but half the onion didn't work either. Here, they're holding that apart. And they're slicing, and I don't know if you can see it. It looks like they do have half a tomato there. All right, you guys, so I'm back from editing. So I just decided to make this into a time lapse for you guys because I want you guys to be able to see it like I had already explained that, you know, I'm not kidding when I say it didn't work. So I changed the parts and I actually went to put in the coarse one to see if maybe that would work because maybe it can't cut any thinner. So let's see if it grates it like that. But it just wasn't working. And this potato slice was actually like it had a thin part, but it also had a thick part and it just wasn't working. So like, I don't know how it's shredding cabbage and stuff. If it can't even shred a potato. So I'm like, okay, maybe we'll try a garlic clove on it. That seems easy enough. But once again, it did nothing. It just smushed everything. And keep in mind that after this, I did have to go clean this part and the other parts. And it really just made like a whole mess. So I decided to give the onion one more try and when I grate it with my actually bare hands, my actual bare hands I mean, that's when you kind of see some of the results. But it says to use the part to do it and it doesn't work. Alright, one more time. You put it. Okay, so the conclusion is, one, my onion soup is going to taste bomb AF, but two, it works only with big things. So after 14 minutes, which I'm going to have to <laughs> cut it down, you guys should only see all the fails that I did. So when you're watching this, you're going to see a few fails, not all of them. So it did cut. Honestly, at this point, I just had to mute this whole part because I said that we just have to use big things. Clearly forgetting that I did do half an onion already. Maybe the fails got to my head and all my brain cells just forgot, you know, hey, the half of the onion you just did, yeah, the first half was a fail, girl. One extra positive thing I can say about this is that it actually folds into itself pretty dang small and needs to not bulky I'm gonna put it back into the plastic bag which will actually fit probably another whole grater in here so it's really cool that it just all snaps onto each other so we have all four of them here and just go ahead and do it like that so that's the actual good thing about it. 
And I mean, towards the end, it's the like cut off onions. Thank you so much for watching. Also, tip chew gum or do like a chewing movement when you're chopping onions so you don't cry. Also, my onions I keep in the bottom of the fridge. So they're pretty much really cold as well, so that kind of helped. But chewing movement with my mouth actually did help with me not starting to cry. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye. Hey guys, so back from editing and I just wanted to say if you watched the whole video, thank you so much. I know that it got a little bit repetitive. It's just that... I didn't know what else to do with this video because I mean it was just a whole bunch of fails and then it like worked for a second in the end and I actually did use the onions to make the chicken fried rice video I'll link that one down below but it's so frustrating when a company puts a price tag on an item and then you get it and you're like why is it having this much issues like Personally, for me, if I'm paying $30 for something, I need it to work with everything. Like, I haven't even tried it with anything else. But I'm so tempted to try it with, like, the carrots and the cabbage and the peppers. Because, like, will it work with those things? Because if that's the case, you need to call, like, a vegetable, you know, glider or a vegetable grater. Because, you know, can you imagine buying that for someone and they're thinking okay they're gonna use that and then they throw out everything else and then they go through what I just went through I mean it could just be my experience but you know on cats world like I said in my other video I like to give you guys the truth so that was my opinion it did work for a second it didn't work for more of the seconds but you know like everyone's experience is different but if you made it this far to the video thank you so so much and go ahead and give it a thumbs up Check out all the links down below in the description box. And thank you. You're so wonderful watching this video. Bye.